secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to K-7's headquarters. This is secret agent K-7 speaking. Send in special agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent M reporting for duty. Agent M, I came to this country to attend the military trial of Aviation Lieutenant Yardland. As you know, Yardland is still in custody, but the trial has been postponed. That is why I have sent for you and Miss Durrell. The military authorities are not completely satisfied. We now have reason to believe that Yardland was used by someone. More information about the aviation field located here is still leaking out. Here are the records of the case. Study them and investigate. That's all, Agent M. That night, Agent M and his assistant, Ivan, studied the mass of evidence collected against the young lieutenant. After several hours, M threw the papers on the table in his study. Finished, Ivan? Yes. Then let's catalog our findings. We know that Lieutenant Yardland has an excellent record. He was arrested on information from an unknown source. The search of his rooms uncovered undeveloped photographic film which had been exposed. When developed and printed, this film proved to be pictures of new airplane plans, of hangars and of the airfield here. M, call it a woman's intuition if you like, but I believe he is innocent. Look at the facts. The evidence might have been planted. Yes. The boy was raised in the traditions of the military service. His father was an officer before him and was killed in action during the war. That might have embittered the boy. Oh, I don't believe it. Look at his record. I have, uh, but let's go on. He has no relatives except a sister who is married to a doctor and lives here. I'd like to talk to her, Em. Perhaps we will later. Ivan, I'm going out. I need more information when I get it. I'll let you know our next move. Yardland's brother officers, and learned that since his arrest, Yardland was bitter about his family. We again join Agent Amy Devon as their car stops outside the military prison the following afternoon. All right, Ivan, here's your pass. The officer in charge expects you. You'll have no trouble. Why can't I go in under my own name, Em? After all, the minute the lieutenant sees me... I he... want you to use her name, Ivan. I want you to watch his reactions when you tell him that you can help him. Oh, all right. He may think that you're a spy. Good luck. While you're here, I'm going to call on a sister. We may have something when we compare notes later. All ready? Yes. I'll meet you back at my rooms. Again, good luck. Play your part well. Within the military prison, Yvonne waited in a small reception room while the young lieutenant was brought to her. Someone to see her, Yardland. 
Come along. Who is it? Your sister. Come on. I do not want to see her. Tell her to leave me alone. You'll have to tell her that yourself. In here. You left five minutes with her. You are Lieutenant Yardland. Who are you? Where's Hilda? She's not here, Lieutenant. I took the liberty of using her name to come and see you. You don't mind, do you? Who are you? That isn't important. I can help you if you're willing to talk to me. They sent you, didn't they? They? Oh, you know who I mean. I know who took the pictures. And I know why he left them in my rooms, too. Tried to get me to help him. When I refused, he got thinking that perhaps I might talk. I'll go back and tell Elder that she wins again. I'll protect her. And tell her that I hope someday she'll find out I was right. Lieutenant, I don't know what you're talking about. I came here to help you. Tell them I don't want any help from enemy spies. And I will not see you if you come back. And tell the guard who you are. I don't care if they do find out who sent you. The guard already knows who I am, Lieutenant. I am Yvonne Durrell, assistant to Special Agent M. You, you're a Secret Service woman. You, you tricked me. You, you posed as a spy. You, look, you, you've got to listen to me. I, I, I didn't mean what I said. I, I, I... All right, Yardin. Time's up. Come along. Wait, wait. I, I must talk to her. Time's please, up. Please, I've got to talk to her. Yvonne talked with Lieutenant Yardland. Agent M interviewed his sister. Fortunately, he found her alone when he called. Yes? I am Special Agent M. You are Lieutenant Yardland's sister? Yes. What do you want? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, may I come in? I suppose so. What do you want? Is your husband home? No. What do you want? We have told everything we know. We cannot help Paul. He would not let us anyway. You were not on friendly terms with your brother? We, he never came to see us, if that is what you mean. Why? Because, because he did not like us, I guess. I am sorry for him, but when does his trial come up? I notice you're packing. Do you want to get away before the trial started? That is not true. My husband is sending me to his home. Oh, won't you ever stop asking questions? You do not know what Paul's arrest has meant to me. I want to get away until the trial. That is why I am packing. I'm going to my husband's home tonight. Now, please go. Oh, I'm sorry. I merely wanted to find out where you were going. <coughs> hey, my, <coughs> my throat is dry. I wonder if you'd let me have a glass of water before I leave. Water? Uh, yes, if you don't mind. Why, yes, of course. I am sorry I was upset. You must understand. I think I do. Thank you. If you will wait a moment now, I will get the water. Here is your drink. It is not very cold. Thank you. I hope you have a pleasant trip. A few minutes later, Ivan stood at Agent M's shoulder as he worked in his photographic darkroom. All right, Ivan. Snap off the light. Now, watch closely as I drop this film in the developer. All right. Em, something is coming out. Yes. Can you see what it is? There doesn't seem to be anything but lines. Those are pictures of blueprints, Ivan. While the lieutenant's sister was getting me a glass of water, I took this film out of the camera she was packing. Uh, look now. These are pictures of airplane plans, Ivan. Then the lieutenant knew when he said, tell Elder our protector. He at least suspected Come on, Ivan. We're going back to her house and make an arrest. I hope we're not too late. It was night when Agent M and Ivan returned to the house. They stopped their car a block away and approached on foot. A light was burning in one of the windows. Ivan and M looked in then made their way around to the back door. I'm going to try and get in without attracting any attention. Now, these are ordinary locks. One of my passkeys may work. Keep your gun ready while I try. I've got it. Any luck? Yes. Yes, this one works. 
Close the door. This must be the kitchen. Now, keep just behind me. Listen. It's his telephone. Hello? This is Dr. Zarvitz. Good. I hoped you would call soon. My wife is on her way. Yes. Go to her tomorrow morning. She knows you are a friend of mine. Ask to borrow my camera. There is a roll of film in it. Yes, that is all. Goodbye. Put up your hands, Dr. Zarvitz. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? It means you're trapped, Doctor. What are you talking about? You'd blame her. You sent your wife across the border into your own country tonight. But there was no film in the camera she packed. I took that film this afternoon. Whatever pictures my wife has are hers, not mine. I do not know what you are talking about. I think you do. Even though you knew your brother-in-law, Lieutenant Yardman, didn't like you and opposed your marriage to his sister, you tried to use him in your spy work. He was trapped on your evidence when you refused to help him. And now you've attempted to use your wife. You tried to send her out of the country tonight with film in which were pictures of new airplane plans. It is a lie! Then perhaps you'd like to explain that telephone call we just overheard. Keep your hands up. Look at him! Special Agent M reporting, K-7. My investigating is complete. Dr. Zavitz was the spy responsible for the theft of military secrets. He was Lieutenant Yardlin's brother-in-law. He implicated Lieutenant Yardlin when Yardlin refused to accept him or help him in any way. Both Yardlin and his sister are innocent. Case is closed. cases where spies have planted evidence which brought about the conviction of innocent people and thus drew attention away from themselves. The fact that Dr. Zavitt was willing to use his own wife shows how contemptible are those who work against peace. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. (laughs) 